All right, folks, it's officially day 18 of 31 Days of Horrorween 2017. In today's installment, it's our last uh, foray from the 1970s. It is the mortal Michael Ray directed, Charles Band produced cinematic classic, Laser Blast. Now, a lot of people will kind of argue about whether or not this is more of a sci fi movie or a horror movie. When I think it's pretty obvious, I mean, it's a demonic possession type movie. It's about a guy who finds an alien gun and plays with it and it attaches itself to him and turns him into an alien zombie beast. So yeah, that sounds like a horror movie to me. You know, you can quabble about uh, the genre specifics, but it's clearly to me, or absolutely nothing else, sort of a sci-fi horror hybrid, which certainly counts for our purposes. All right, so uh, how to describe this movie? I think uh, most people only know about this movie because it was on Mystery Science Theater 2000. I'm, you know, kind of uh, perusing my brain here. I've never seen that episode, so I don't have that as sort of a nostalgic backbone for uh, my enjoyment or lack of enjoyment of the movie. So if you're looking for references to that, I, I can't help you. But I've seen it a couple of times. I saw it way, way back in the day and thought it was just uh, terrible beyond words. But you know, your taste change. You know, you get soft in your old age. You're able to see things you didn't see back when you were a kid. So I recently watched the movie, and yeah, it's really, really bad. You know, I think uh, overall this might be the worst movie I've screened as part of uh, 31 Days of Horrorween 2017 thus far, and that's saying something. Uh, now to say it doesn't have some merits, I mean, the special effects are pretty good. I mean, uh, you know, uh, the claymation aliens look... Well, they look like turkeys, really. They kind of run into the little baby and eraser head, full grown. Which, you know, it's kind of hokey, but still kind of cool. And uh, the monster effects, like when the guy actually goes full, like, alien machine gun, laser blast death machine. That looks pretty good. Uh, and if nothing else, this movie sets, like, a per capita, like, record for most explosions in a movie that costs, like, $3 to make. I don't know how much of the budget was uh, allocated to explosions, but I'm guessing a good 90-95%. There's a lot of stuff blowing up in this movie, so you can't complain that much. So you got a couple of good things about it, but overall the movie is just, wow, it's just terrible. I mean, the acting's bad, the pacing is super sluggish, uh, there's not really a whole lot of development to it, there are just these really long, meandering, pointless scenes where not a whole lot's going on. And you kind of figure, if you're having a movie about a kid who gets possessed by an alien ray gun, you know, you might want to speed things up. You might want to do something a little bit uh, more inventive with the premise than just having him, you know, run around the desert, you know, blowing up cars for an hour and a half. But then again, you know, I guess they're working with the budget restraints. That's pretty much all they were capable of doing with the scant money and resources they had. But, I mean, you really could have made a way better movie out of it than this. This is just a really straightforward kind of flick where they didn't really take any chances. You know, they had, like, a single premise and never tried to refine it. Because, I mean, you got to face it. I mean, it's a pretty cool idea for a movie. Okay, I have a depressed kid who lives out in the desert, and he finds an alien laser ray gun, and he plays with it, and he goes into a psycho mode and tracks on everybody who made fun of him and then shoots him in the face with, you know, uh, extraterrestrial death. Okay, that's a pretty cool idea for a movie. But the execution, and I mean that in many, many ways, is just bad. I mean, you don't really feel for anybody. Nobody has pathos. You don't really relate to anybody. You don't care about anybody. This is one of those movies where like, everybody looks at various shades of uh, a-hole. So, not really much of an incentive to care if anybody gets killed. And the main character just isn't very relatable. You, you can't get to him. And I don't know. There's just a lot, a lot of dead space in this movie. You know, it's one of those movies where it's, what, 90 minutes long? But you probably do it in, like, 35. You cut out all the excess fat. So, it's a chore to get through. I mean, you're there for the alien effects. The monster makeup's pretty cool. The explosions are great. But on the whole, this is just a woefully, woefully boring movie, and you can do a lot better. All right, so using our patented tofu dog racism, I'm going to give this one a, yeah, lackluster one and a half tofu dogs out of four, if only for the explosions, because you got to give it for the explosions. That's cool. So uh, that's that, and tomorrow we finally get into the 1980s, a decade considered by many genre purists to be the absolute best decade ever for degenerate cinema. I have a hard time uh, disagreeing with that statement. And we'll begin with one of the greatest Italian horror films. Well, maybe not of all time, but certainly of the decade. It's a good one. 
it's also not really for the weak of stomach. So uh, if you have any sort of aversion to, you know, animals being slaughtered on film, probably you might want to skip tomorrow's showing. But if you're a degenerate and you're a sicko and you're not a member of PETA, stick around. You're going to definitely dig what we got coming up tomorrow. All right, well, that's it for day 18. I'll be seeing you tomorrow. As always, keep it spooky. You know, like my viewers have any other choice. Thank <laughs> you.